Aloha and welcome back. Next year, Mad Hawaii, or Mothers Against Drunk Driving, will be celebrating its 40th anniversary, where they've worked toward a creating a future of no more victims in Hawaii. And you can help. Today, we have Teresa Paulette from Mad Hawaii and Shonda Park. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so Thank you much. so much for joining us. And Mad Hawaii is an organization I've been involved with, myself personally, for the last couple of years. I've uh, been attending and learning so much. But I, I wanted to ask you, Teresa, to start. Statistically, where are we right now in 2023? Well, we're actually doing a little better than last year. Uh, we're at 62 traffic fatalities in comparison to 78 last year. That's not alcohol related. Alcohol related is usually about 30% of the total number. I see, and um, with everything that's taking place with uh, MAD Hawaii, there's many programs, including the Walk Like MAD event that's coming up. Tell us a little bit about that. That's on September 16th, so just a short week and a half away, and it's at Kaka'ako Waterfront Park. You can sign up now at mad.org forward slash Hawaii and look for the, the walk site. And it starts at seven o'clock registration on site. Eight o'clock is the walk. Um, it goes on for about an hour. And then after that, we have a lot of great prizes and awards to the participating teams. And we'd love for everybody to come down and support us. Yeah, it's, it truly is a community event. And Shonda, how, has, um, impair, how long have you been working with Mad Hawaii and how has impaired driving impacted your life? I've been working with Mad since December 2020 when my daughter was killed by a drunk driver. Um, five days after she was pronounced brain dead, we did a sign waving where she was killed and Mad was very supportive and kicked came out to that um, that sign waving and Shana, we've done one every year since. How has the experience been with, with Mad Hawaii and how do they just support our community? Uh, I don't know what I would do without Teresa and without the support of Mad and they just have been wonderful. Um, yeah, just very wonderful support. Now, so many of these programs really go into uh, prevention and education within the community. Right. Teresa, can you expand a little bit on, uh, in addition to the walk that's taking place, other events and programs that Mad Hawaii promotes? We're relaunching our underage drinking program, uh, which is going to go out to the schools, the high schools and middle schools, and educate teens, young, young adults, before they start driving, that they have a choice not to drink and drive, not to get into a car with somebody who has been drinking, how to keep themselves safe and the community safe. And so that's kind of our big effort this year. Uh, Shonda, I want to ask you too, what is your, your message for the community? The Walk Like Mad event is coming up and why are events like these so important to support? Because it's not just for the victims, it's for the people today, um, presently, and in the future because it affects everyone. Uh, this is our island and we all need to work together to make our roadway safe and, you know, Walk Like Mad is just uh, that one fundraiser that Mad has. So we want everyone to come out and support because like I said, it affects all of us. Absolutely, yeah. and Shonda and Teresa, mahalo so much for being here with us today and for all of the knowledge and everything that you folks do to keep our community safe. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, stay